Hello everyone, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse. In this reading, we're gonna be taking a look at some general messages. I talk about a current person that you're probably dealing with, and then at the end, I take a look at someone new, all right? To book a private session, all of that info can be found in the description box of this video. Please check out Femacy's Artist Spotlight. Right now, I have Springfield, Massachusetts artist Boss Dawn. You wanna hit the description box below. You're gonna find a link there that's gonna take you to Boss Dawn's music page. Please share, comment, comment and subscribe. Boss Don's album is scheduled to be released on November 21st, 2022. Okay, so let's take a look at some general messages. And in the pre-shuffle, I just kept getting that someone feels really bad about not being able to talk to you or not being able to speak to you. I don't know if they can't reach you or if you don't want to hear them out. They could be holding themselves back, but I just feel like their emotions are triggering them because they don't have the access that they wish they had to you, all right? That's what I'm getting. So let's take a look. Spirit, please talk to me about general messages for the sign of Taurus. Talk to me about general messages for the sign of Taurus, please. General messages, general messages for Taurus, general messages. All right, so there's no need to worry, Taurus. If you've been worrying, I feel like things are going to go the way that you've been wanting them to go with the Wheel of Fortune and the Star card energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces, a Sagittarius, or an Aquarius. You don't have to be, but I feel like if you start to look at things from a different perspective, then it's not as bad as you think it is. And I feel like you'll change your mind about something that has been keeping you low vibrational. There's something that you have repetitively been thinking about and it's just doing you more damage than it is good. And the only reason why it's doing damage is because you could be viewing something in a negative light. If you switch the way that you view the situation and if you accept people for who they are and if you accept the situation for what it is, then you're giving the wheel of fortune the opportunity to turn, right? And so that's where change comes from. And even if you don't agree with someone's lifestyle or the way that they're handling a particular situation, if you can just accept that person for who they are, and if you can just accept the mistakes that they have made, then you're going to be happier and you'll be raising your vibration at the same time. So basically, this is talking about you forgiving someone. And I don't know who it is that you need to forgive, but that's what the general message is just emphasizing at this time. Now, let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more about general messages. Talk to me about general messages. The emperor, all right? So I feel like some of you feel that you don't want to forgive somebody and that you want to just stick to your guns and um, carry on. But I feel like the spirit is really calling for you to review or just take a second look or revise something when it comes to your opinions on a certain person with the emperor energy. Okay, so um, this is Aries. Some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign as well. Tell me more about general messages for the sign of Taurus. Yeah, so, you know, I feel that you have somebody that is on their way to you, okay? So I don't know if this is, again, a child of yours, a family member, but you have someone that wants victory with you with the Six of Wands energy coming out. And this person is looking at the Two of Pentacles. So, this person feels that you're not interested or you're not willing to continue with something or 
if someone is trying to come to you with some type of advice, they're not sure if you'll want to hear them out for some reason. I don't know if you've, you know, given them some type of either body language or um, some type of verbal confirmation that you wouldn't be interested. But right now it's telling me that they feel you're not interested in something that they have to say or something that they have to offer to you, but they still want to come to you anyway, okay? They're still going to make their attempt, even if you're not in a good mood or even if you don't want to hear it, I feel like someone is still going to try and get their way. So I don't know if this is something that you've been talking to your mom about. Maybe this is your mom trying to get you to agree with something or your father or, you know, it doesn't have to be a family member, but there's somebody that's trying to convince you of something. That's what I'm getting. So expect that. There's someone that will be trying to persuade you. Okay? All right. So now let's talk about a current or a past person that you think about. Okay? Let's see what's going on with this person. Spirit, please talk to me about the current or the past energy that Taurus thinks about. Talk to me about the current, please. Talk to me about the current person. Talk to me about the current person. Talk to me about the current person. What's going on with this current person? All right, this wanted to come out. We have the seven of cups. So very chaotic for this person, very busy as well. There's too many cups on the table. I don't know if somebody's overindulging. I feel like... Um, they can't handle all of this. That's what I'm getting. They just can't. This is a lot of stress, too much on their plate. Um, this is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell me more about the current person that Taurus thinks about. All right, so I feel like they want to talk. They want to communicate something to you, even if they haven't acted on it yet. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords when it comes to this person that Taurus thinks about. Yeah, what did I tell you? This is the energy that they're in. Nine of Swords, stressed out because of all of this that's taking place. All right, I don't know what all of this is for your past person or your current person. Uh, please forgive my cards. As you can see, I need some new cards and actually I've bought new cards. I don't want to use any other cards, but the cards that I use every day and I've had these forever. Okay. So I don't know. I got new decks over there. I just keep using these, you know, and I'm not going to stop until I feel like I have to. So, um, I apologize if, you know, my cards are a little hit, <laughs> but anyway, um, it's all about the message. I just feel that with the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Swords, um, they're just not doing really well, okay? You probably know that already. Okay, so that's the current person. Cur current person is definitely um, going through a trauma. Uh, they definitely need somebody to talk to, okay? Talk to me about the past person. Spirit, please talk to me about the past person. What do we have about the past person here? This past person. All right, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me more about the past person. Ten of Cups, or look at me, Ten of Cups. Well, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, you know, so... This person is focused on either their money or on an earth sign, the past person, all right? They're focused on either a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn with the Ten of Pentacles. And then we have the Nine of Cups flying out here, all right? And then the Knight of Wands. So, yeah, this person is looking at you and they want to come around but I don't know if you trust 
the Knight of Wands type of energy where it's like, okay, you want to come through, but do you want to stay? You know, that's the problem with this past person, right? They view you as someone that is very attractive. They like, you know, how you get money or what you do to get your funds. Um, I feel like they want to reconnect with you, okay? Someone does, anyway. With the King of Wands looking at the Ten of Pentacles. All right, one more card. One more card for the current and the past person when it comes to Taurus. Yeah, they're reaching out to you. Here's the message. They want to talk to Taurus, okay? Somebody wants to speak to you. And it's like Spirit is telling me to repeat that over and over again. I don't know why. So I feel like a lot of you guys don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. Like, I feel like I have to say it again. So Spirit said that this person wants to talk to you. They want to talk to you. Or the message is coming in, okay, from a past person or a current person. They definitely are interested and they want to know what's up, like <laughs> literally, okay. Um, and then we have Capricorn energy at the bottom of the deck. And right when I'm getting ready to do the new, the new per se, then I have to clarify now. So, all right. It's funny because I was saying new person and then I almost said no person unbelievable all right so clarifying the capricorn energy is the ten of swords goodness who's in the ten of swords here okay so it's the person who's watching here you're watching this person go through a hard time or This person, the current person or the past person is attached to Capricorn energy and it's no good for them. No good. And this is why. Look at this. Look at the result of what Capricorn energy is doing to either your current person or your past person. And I feel like this is you over here knowing that that's happening. Okay, so that's probably all the seven of cups and, you know, all the nine of swords going on over here is their drama and they want to talk to you about it. Okay, they definitely do with this page of wands. All right, so now let's talk about the new person. Spirit, now let's talk about those Taurians that are dealing with a new person or are looking for new love what do we have for new love when it comes to taurus what do we have for new love when it comes to taurus please new love for the sign of taurus new love for the sign of taurus please new love all right let's see here What in the world, huh? Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Very nice. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. New love. This person is thinking about making that change. Okay, so your new love wants change your new love has to end something first okay this is why i say that your new love is thinking right now four of swords about change the wheel of fortune but this needs to happen first at least they're thinking about how to improve something in their life 
is what I'm getting here, okay? Now, that's very emotional for them, right? Or it's probably something that they're not speaking to a lot of people about because the moon is present here and that usually means that something is hidden, okay? I feel that there's just a lot of sad energy, okay? I'm just really, I feel sad. I don't know if you feel sad or who feels sad, but you know, with this Four of Cups energy, someone is sad because the other person is just blocked off with the Two of Swords. So it almost seems like, you know, your new person could be the current person that I was just talking about or the past person or something like that. It's just spilling over. The same energy is just, it's in your new love reading. You know, I feel that if you can have the faith and if you can continue to pray and to meditate that the end result is the 10 of cups, which is your goal. So believe that, but there's still a lot of patience here that's required for this new situation to really get to where it needs to be. Because the new person that you're dealing with is doing this right now. Four of swords, they're just, they're not acting on their thoughts. They're still processing how to move forward, but they want to with the wheel of fortune, so that's good. And they must initiate the ending in something in their life. What do they have to say goodbye to, right? It doesn't have to be a person, right? That could be a habit. It could be a way of seeing life. Maybe they're becoming just open to another lifestyle, there's other ideas that are developing in this person's mind right now. Ideas that they never thought they would think about. So there's a metamorphosis that this person is undergoing, is what I get. You have the Page of Wands again, so expect communication, okay? This person wants to talk to you because they feel like you've been thinking about them anyway, all right? <laughs> You've been thinking about them anyway. They feel that, okay? Now, let's see what else we have. Talk to me about the new person. Tell me more about the new person. Tell me more about this new person. Taurus has coming in. The new person, please. New person. Man. You know, sometimes it is what it is. It is what it is. This is your new person's energy, the Eight of Swords. Trapped, stuck, overthinking, overanalyzing, nervous, anxious. Sometimes when someone doesn't know what to do, they don't want to talk to anybody, you know? So I feel like they're in that type of energy where... You know, if you're trying to reach out to them, then they don't want to talk to anybody. But they're going to come to you on their terms, like when they feel better. Um, they don't feel really good, but they want to communicate. But it has to be when they are ready is what I get. Okay, it's a very complex energy. But this is how they're feeling again. What is this, right? The Five of Cups, the Ten of Wands, right? The Seven of Pentacles. I don't know if they have issues with money or they, it's just, their energy is no bueno. Like, it's not good. <laughs> not good at all, you know? Pray for this person, whomever they are. They need prayer, okay? You will hear from them but first, they need to think about how they want to manage moving forward. Their future is something that they're really anxious about right now. So I don't know if their housing is in jeopardy or their stability 
but something is just really rocky for them. You're going to hear about it. All right, so I want to thank you for watching Taurus to book a private session. All of that info is below. Thank you and take care.